Okay. Uh, today I'm gonna start to talk about another command that we can use it to make it a, a 3D uh, object. Uh, previously, if you we use that extrude and press pull, and underneath of the extrude, if we click on that arrow. Now also we use the revolve uh, previous. This time I'm gonna start to talk about the uh, loft. Uh, how we can use the uh, loft command uh, to create a 3D uh, uh, drawing uh, in AutoCAD. So let me go ahead and go to top view and let me go to to the wireframe. So I'm gonna just draw three uh, rectangles here. So from zero, zero, and the length of 100 and the width of 50. And let me zoom in. And then I'm gonna draw two more rectangles in there. Um, so for the one from here here and one more say from here to here so I have three uh, rectangles so let me go back to uh, <coughs> this view um, now I'm gonna just move them uh, uh, up so I'm gonna move this one first, um, select enter, I choose this corner, and I move it up for, let's say, 50. Then I move the other one, this one, select it, enter, select that corner, move it up for 100, enter. And now let me go back to X-ray and <clears throat> so so I uh, can see I draw three triangle and then I just move them up in a, a Z direction. So if I rotate it, so you can see I have these three uh, uh, rectangle cross section. Now I'm going to show you how we can um, uh, work with this loft command. So if I come here, if you don't see it here, it's uh, underneath of the extrude. If there is an arrow here, you click on that. You'll see there is a command called loft. So if you click on the loft, it will say, uh, uh, select the cross section that you want to start. So I would click on uh, this cross section. Then it would say that uh, select the next cross section. So I'm going to select this next cross section and it's going to connect these two cross section for me. I can, if I press enter, that's all it's going to create for me. If I, if I want to keep continuing, I can go ahead and keep on the next cross section, for example, here. And then it's going to create it sometime. Whenever I'm done with selecting the cross section, press enter. And then uh, make sure it's just cross section only. So usually it's on the app by default and then press enter again and then you will see this is the, the 3d object is gonna uh, create it for you so it starts from one cross section uh, and it goes to uh, depend on how many cross sections you have it's gonna if you have only two it goes from the first one to the second one if you have uh, more than one it goes from um, uh, one cross section to another cross section in order that you uh, actually choose them so you can use it as you can see here to create the 3D option. So um, the, it, all, it created based on the order that you choose. So if I go back again, and this one I'm gonna again choose the loft, and look at here. So this time I choose the first one, the very bottom one first. Then I choose the very top one second. So it goes from here to here. And then I choose the one is in the middle, third. And then I press enter. And then it usually is on current uh, cross section. I press enter again. So this time it goes, as you can see, it goes from the bottom 
the very top cross section and then go to the uh, middle cross section so if I rotate it you will see it, uh, it uh, create a shape like it so it can be a very uh, handy tool when you want to create a uh, cross uh, when you know the cross section and you want to uh, create the 3d uh, drawing that goes from one cross section uh, to another cross section so this is the uh, basics of uh, drawing that but also we um, as you said we can uh, go from cross section to cross section also we can tell the loft which path to choose to go through so let me uh, delete that and show you how we can do that so if I come here and draw a circle from 0 0 and then assume with uh, uh, the 50 um, uh, well, 25 and then let me zoom in and then I have I'm gonna draw another cross six another <laughs> so this is one now I want to draw another one that is going to be in in current uh, uh, coordinate system. I want it to be on the ZY. So I'm going to switch this uh, uh, the coordinate system to the uh, right. So that's going to be my XY. So I'm going to uh, uh, draw the circle I'm drawing is going to be on that. So again, also draw it at zero, zero. And this time I'm going to draw it as, for example, the uh, 15. So now I have these, uh, let me rotate it, maybe you can see it better. So I have these two cross sections. I will go back to the, so it's one of them here, one of them here. So I'm going to move this one uh, first 100 uh, up and then uh, 100 to the right. So I'm going to move it move this one press enter so I will select the center and move it up first for 100 and then again I select this press enter select the center and I move it to the right uh, for 100 so if I rotate it, you will see that this is uh, what I have. So I have these two um, circle. So now if I go ahead and um, uh, um, use the loft command, you see what happens. If I use the loft command, choose the very um, the first cross section, second cross section, enter, and just use the uh, cross section enter. So this is what I'm going to get. But assume I don't want to go for right like this. I want to go through a very specific path. So what I can to do, what I can do is that I can go and draw a path. So I will go to uh, here. I will go to uh, select it to the front so I can draw it. So I use this command here, uh, the spline, and then I start from zero zero. And then, for example, I come here, one point here, and then I connect it to the center of that circle, and then press enter. So I have that uh, spline going through. So if I rotate it, you will see that I have a path goes from center of this circle to the center of the above circle. Now this time, when I want to uh, use the loft, I click on the loft. Again, I choose the, uh, the first uh, circle. I choose the second circle and this is how it's gonna make it by default so I press enter and this time you see it by default it's on the cross section I can come and select the pass so if I come click on the pass then it will tell me choose the pass that you want to um, go from the first cross section to the second cross section so I choose the pass I just uh, draw and then it's gonna make it uh, create that uh, cross section through that uh, as you can see it uh, through the um, through that pass uh, so it's we can use it to create uh, to draw cross section um, 
to go from one cross section to the second cross section through the pass. Another way that we can do it uh, is that uh, we can define. Uh, so this one goes from only a single pass. Also, we can define the bottom and the upper uh, pass uh, for that. So let me delete this one. So now I'm gonna draw two passes. One goes from the uh, shows the bottom pass and the one shows the top pass of the extrude. So assume again I come here, click on the spline, and look at here. I keep my um, let me uh, I keep my uh, um, coordinate system still on the front. So uh, this is the x y. So whenever I'm drawing on the uh, what any 2D drawing I make, it's going to be on that XY uh, axis uh, on XY plane. So um, uh, I can go from this one to that. So make sure if you are drawing the path or guide, uh, your XY is where you actually want to draw that uh, line. So here again, I click on this spline, and this time I start from this. Um, um, I hold it on the center. Uh, uh, let me, and I move it until I hit that uh, perimeter of that uh, circle. So that's where I want to start. And then I will click somewhere here. And then I want to end up on that perimeter of this one. So I will hold it on this and bring it down. And I click there and press enter. So it goes from this perimeter to the, that that point. The next one, to assume uh, I want to uh, have another guide from here to here. So I will go ahead and this time I just simply draw a line, simple um, line from this point here, starting again. I hold it on the center, I bring it until it um, uh, hit the uh, perimeter, click on that. And the same here, I will hold it on the center bring it up and then click and press enter so now i have these two uh, line and assume i want to uh, go from here to here and through these two paths and let's see if it does it so if i click on the loft i select the first cross section i select the second cross section press enter and this time, look at here again. We have, by default is on the cross section only. The, the one that we used before was passed. This time I use click uh, on the guide, and it tell me choose the guide that you want. And then uh, it's very hard to see it here. So I will choose uh, this one as the bottom guide, and I choose if I can see the other line. I draw this line here as the top guide. And then it's gonna follow those guides um, for me. So it followed those lines and um, it created um, following the uh, guide I just gave it to it. So you can see it basically draw it like that. Um, so we can, uh, as, as you can see, so we can even, uh, if we select the first cross section, second cross section, it's gonna. Uh, directly connected to each other or we can define a pass or we can define the lower guide and upper guide uh, of um, how it's gonna uh, connect the, uh, the two cross section together.